I recently reworked the crankshaft and connecting rod to my copper top engine and thought an RPM disc would be a good way to test it. See the description for a link where I found a good example of an RPM disc to work off of. One side measures 60 to 360 RPM and the other side measures 360 to 1800 RPM. All right, initially I'm just going to run it with the disc on. I've got my burner on low so um, as the engine heats up it should get faster and faster. Not sure exactly if this will come out appropriately on the camera, but uh, I'll count the discs and uh, our rings and put the total on the finished video. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. I'm going to double check that one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We'll say 11 rings in from the outside. It's a little hard to count. That's, that's the way it usually looks. It might be a little different on the camera because obviously it's got a frame rate that it has to adjust for as well. So. We'll say at least between 10 and 11. So let's put a load on the engine now. Might have to adjust our angle a little bit here for the for the camera. This is a alternate fan blade that I haven't bent yet, so it shouldn't have much drag for the Phoenix engine design. Oh. So with the blade on there, the way it's running right now, we're at one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven bands in. And that's how the RPM disc works. Kind of neat. Thanks. Here's just a quick little run with the blade on each side. See if it can make some They appear to rotate in opposite directions as they get going faster. It's kind of an interesting effect.